This is Michael Zimmerman for InfoWarriors.com. We're here at the NRA 2017 National Convention. And I'm here with Antonia Okafor, who is a gun rights advocate and also uh, has done a lot of work with Campus Carry in Texas. So you spoke yesterday at the leadership speech that they had uh, just after Donald Trump spoke. Uh, what, what was that like? It was um, it was amazing. The, the fact that I was able to have that platform to talk about campus carry and about the work that a lot of people are doing, um, whether in the African American community or um, with women in general. Uh, so I was honored to be able to, to to talk about that after Donald Trump. <laughs> and I, I saw this morning you you had made a post about some of the the pushback you've received. The anti gun people end up being extremely racist and using words like Uncle Tom and things like that. Uh, because they don't like anyone who doesn't, you know, breaks the narrative. And you did a video with the NRA called I Didn't Listen. Yeah, and the whole the whole point of that video was you're not going to, you know, do what you're told. You're going to protect yourself. You're going to exercise your Second Amendment rights. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's, the fact is that I'm thinking for myself. Wow. Like, that's uh, so weird for a black woman to do that, apparently, especially if they're not liberal and they're not a leftist. Um, so and that's what part of my message is like pushing back on that, whether you're a gun rights activist or you know, you're a conservative or a libertarian or what have you. Um, think for yourself, have the, if the issues that are important to you, um, advocate for those issues and, and refuse to be put in a box um, because people like to do that so they can control you. So um, that's part of the reason why I left the left because uh, that victimhood uh, mentality of you know, you are a certain color, and so you should identify this way and think this way. And it, it puts a lot of people back um, instead of really having real progress. And that's the thing for yourself. Definitely. And you also experienced a lot of pushback in Texas. What do you think of yeah. the things going on today at, at campuses like UT Austin, where they're having these, these ridiculous protests? Yeah, the protests that you can hardly even say on camera because they're not, you know, very PC in that way. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it, for me, it was always eye-opening that in Texas I would have that pushback. You know, when I was a campus carry activist, and um, the really wasn't the people, the people who voted for the representatives and the senators that was the problem. It was the administrators and the professors on college campuses. And I think we're seeing that now with UC Berkeley um, on a national stage. Um, was what I've been seeing the last few years with campus carry is that um, it's these socialist. Uh, you know, Marxist administrators and, and professors who have an agenda and they don't like anybody trying to push back on it and who have, how, how dare they have any type of opinion that's against that. So um, that also goes in the Second Amendment realm. And so I'm, I'm hoping more people wake up to the fact that um, we're not safe on campus, uh, whether that's physically or even intellectually. We have to think for ourselves, we have to protect ourselves. And that also means being able to protect ourselves with, um, with a gun on campus if we so choose. Um, because it's not a safe space. <laughs> right, and Berkeley was a great example of exactly why people need yeah. campus carry. And these, these campuses are supposed to be a marketplace of ideas. Yeah. But like you were talking about, the radical left doesn't accept anything that doesn't fit their narrative. Yeah. So uh, tell us a little more about your organization and where people can find your work. Yeah, definitely. So I started an organization called Empowered. Um, so Empowered is um, basically a culmination of my years as a campus carry activist. I realized that it's really women who are going to be changing the future of, of gun ownership in the future. And that and what better way to start that is on a college campus. And so um, Empowered, uh, you can find it at AntoniaOkafor.com backslash Empowered. Or you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter um, at Empowered underscore 2A. So um, we would love to help. And, and don donations are welcome. So right. thanks. Well, thank you so much. This has been Michael Zimmerman and Antonio Okafor at the NRA Show. For more special reports, go to InfoWars.com.